I'm gonna wait. Hello, 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 my funky Junkin' Sparkle Lovers. I don't see peeps yet. There, I have people in the house. Hello, welcome, Denise. What's up, funky Junkin' Sparkle Lovers? Welcome. We're gonna cook today. Not really cook, but this is it, your request, peeps, from yesterday's live. Hello, Linda. I'll wait for you guys to pop on. Hi, Shelly. Hi. Let's see what day is it. It's Wednesday. Hi, Karen. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hello, Claudia. <laughs> you crack me up. Hi, Connie. We're not really crafting today. So, hi, Charlie. At your request yesterday, somebody says, make your dinner on a live. Hi, Dale. Hi, Charlie and Martina. So, this is what we're going to do. I brought everything I need up here to make my fabulous uh, homemade chicken salad. Chicken salad on croissants. But, um... Mike did it one croissant, so I got fresh Italian bread. But this is going to be a quick live. But I did promise you all five days of lives this week. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Andy. Yeah, if you consider like throwing stuff in a bowl um, and mixing it together cooking, then I guess you're going to see me cook. Hello, Michelle and Patricia and Ruby and Susan and Lynn and Kimberly. Thank you guys for sparkling. This is totally off the wall. Um, this isn't, you know, my typical, hello, Melissa. This is not my typical um, kind of live, but we're going to roll with it, guys. You know, I'm an all-around kind of girl, beauty, makeup, cooking to a certain degree, we'll call it. Hi, Allison. Happy Wednesday, too. Hello, Aracely. Hi, Judy and Beth Perkins and Mike. Hello, Eric. What's up? What's up, dude? Eric Rollins is in the house. If you guys don't follow him, make sure you go hit Go ahead over to Instagram and follow Rollin, Rollins Rustics. He's amazing and creates beautiful pieces. Hello, Mary Jo and Sarah and Shelly and Deborah. Guys, my back is still not right, but we got the hot tub in. We got, you do consider that cooking, Andy? I'm glad you guys all like it. Thank you guys for the stars. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Cheryl. You guys are helping me reach my stars goal this month. I have 7,200 stars left, and Facebook gives me a little perk. So... It's your favorite kind of meal. Right, right. I know, exactly, Patricia. I don't like slaving. Thank you, Anne, for the stars. Hi, Paula and Rosetta. I don't like um, creating. And after I get off of here, I have to do another live in my private group. So for all my royals on here, um, I'm going to be jumping on with you next to announce the winner of Miss uh, Froggy back here for the uh, Decorating DIY Challenge. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Anne. Hello, Dolly. Thank you for the stars, Dolly. Thank you. Yeah, it's humid and hot here today. I took a shower and I said I'm not washing my hair. Oh, so anyway, yeah, guys, my back is still wonky. It's like even moving into my hip. I think I screwed up all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. So the hot tub is in. I left to go to the grocery store. Uh, thank you guys for sparkling. Um, hi, Angela. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Amy. So yeah, I left when they brought this thing in because this stuff gives me anxiety. Like, it weighs a thousand pounds and it's going into a three foot hole that we dug in our patio. Um, yeah, so we're filling that up right now. So I'm super, super excited. Mary, you have back problems? Yeah, I, I pulled my back out last week and let me tell you, now it's like my hip and I can't get comfortable when I sleep. Um, oh, Diane, you found three of the candle lamps yesterday? I have to get a video. I tried last night. I have to change the batteries in that candle, but I got it over by one of my wedding um portraits that I diamond dusted and it looks so stinking pretty. So I'm going to take a picture. Josie, it's rainy here too. It's kind of cloudy and thundery. It's kind of been a little blah all day long. Thank you for the star, Sandy. So anyway, yeah. Hello, Tanya. We have a newbie, a new sparkle chick in the house. Welcome. Uh, what do we do in my private group? And we have guest speakers in there, quite a few, at least one, one or two a week uh, that come in and share their craft. I'm in there uh, a couple times a month. We have decorating and DIY challenge that goes on every month and then I create something special in there special crafts that I don't do here on the main page and then I give them away every month and that little cute froggy back there miss um we named her miss lady oh god somebody help me out the lady from Bridgerton um anyway I showed them how to check that sphere and then we created her and dazzled her up and made it's adorable it's really is hi Kristen back pain is the worst um, but my private group, it's $20 a month. And we have so much fun. We just had an amazing guest speaker in there just a little while ago. So 
try a chiropractor. Yeah, I might even, I think I, my son goes to cryotherapy and he seems to think that works well. Uh, Carlina, that's filling up as we speak, but the electrician doesn't come till tomorrow, but it looks really good and it's in. Oh, kidney stones, get out, Lynn. Well, I don't have any problems going to the bathroom, so I know that's not it because I did read that um, that was like painful, you know, when you're peeing, and I don't have, um, and it's $20 a month. Penelope, yes, but Miss, uh, we did the lady, Lady Featherington, or no, not Featherington, um, Lady Whistledown. She is named Lady Whistledown. She's Whistledown. You love, Lin you love bling too, Linda? What's not to love about bling? Yeah, so I've been stretching too, Cheryl. Work kills your slow time, Gia. I know it, girl. Hey, Angie, what's up, chicks? Hello, Susan from Oklahoma and Shirley. Hello from the middle of Norway. Welcome, Anne. Hello, Kimberly. Yeah, so um, that's what we do over there. Hello, Maria. That is my sister from another mister. What is going on, girlfriend? What time is it there? It's got to be like... 11 o'clock at night, she is, that was one of my BFFs in Serbia. Yes, all the way across the pond. What's up, girlfriend? I missed your face. Um, is it FaceTime or what? Um, and I'm not really sure what you're talking about, but if you don't like all our chatter, um, you can keep scrolling. Is it FaceTime or what? Oh, I know what you're saying. See, I get so many people on here. Okay, so I thought you were asked, I thought you were not liking my chatter. Okay. Um, FaceTime, no, and it's just like, yes, it's like what we do here, um, over in the private group. Um, finally decided to do something about being overweight. And, uh, Carol, if you want to learn anything, go, uh, investigate ketogenic lifestyle and talk to my friend, Chris Hunter at Creating with Chris Hunter. She's a keto guru. I follow a ketogenic lifestyle and it's been amazing. I feel the best I've ever felt. Voltaren cream. Hello, Tanya. Sneak a peek. Yeah, I don't know. I, I pulled my back out last week. And let me tell you, it just like, it totally messed with me. My husband told me I'm out of shape and I got to start working out again. So I'm like, maybe I need to do yoga. Hi, Carol. So anyway, guys, this is not like your typical crafty crafty. Hello, Vivian. Um, thank you for sparkling. This is going to be, oh, I might have to go get a shot of cortisone, Colette. Maybe that'll help me. Uh, yeah, it's just still tweaky and I cannot sleep on my side. Thank you, Anne. I thought you were talking about something else. I did not mean to come off as crappy, but I get a lot of hate mail and then when I talk. So I thought you're like, is this FaceTime or what? So yes, it's on. Um, that's perfect. That's fine. It is a rite of passage. Misty Fear has got her first mad face today. That's hilarious. Yeah, Tanya, I love keto. Uh, chiropractor, I could probably do that. Um, I don't know, Carol, if there's anything going on in my neck of the woods. We're chilling. We're going to be in our hot tub and our swimming pool and just taking it easy. Uh, we've had nothing but work going on here. I sneak too from work, right? I used to put my AirPods in at my desk and watch all my crafters when I was working at my desk job. Bulging discs. Yeah, I don't have anything like that. Uh, Linda, I don't know that keto's not good for everyone, but I do follow an amazing guy on YouTube called Dr. Eric Berg. He's pretty cool. Um, go check him out. Eric Berg. Hello, Arlene. Oh, it's cream ibuprofen. Shouldn't use Voltaren cream on back area. I did have uh, an, a lidocaine patch on them, but here's the thing, Angela. I think I'm allergic to lidocaine because it makes me feel like I have bugs all over me and I hate the way it makes me feel. Um, and that's also the night that I got sick in the middle of the night. I, maybe it was, you know, um, from the lidocaine plus that naperson that I took. So I don't like to take anything like that. I need to do a makeup tutorial. Gosh, I probably could, but then, you know, I did an eyebrow tutorial for somebody this morning in a private, private message because seriously, babes, I'd have to, I'd have to practice doing my, my makeup up here because I've never done it um, anywhere but my bathroom. So I have been keto since, yeah, I love, I love keto. I have never felt better when I'm on keto, it makes me. Yes, and I'm telling you, the food is good. It's all the food I eat anyway. Cheese, olives, you know, bacon, burgers, meat. You know, I just cut out corn, bananas, sugar, cereal, bread, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so thank you. I got these at Dillard's not too long ago when I was shopping uh, at the mall for 
the wedding. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for sparkling. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm hoping that the hot tub helps my back. So anyway, we're not really crafting up here today at your request. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what it was, but I'm not taking either one of those anywhere. So I did leave my recipe up in the link. I don't really have a recipe. Um, that's awesome, Sue. Yes, uh, since 512, 10 pounds since 512. I tell you, it's amazing. It really is. Hello, Mary. Hi, Glenda. Um, you're lactose intolerant. That's okay, because you know what? I don't really do, well, cheese would be, you can't eat cheese, but um, you could do a lot of other stuff. She, so I showed my hair lady, she wishes she knew your colors. I do too. So Liz, in my hair, I just do bleach. Um, whatever the lightest bleach is, 30 or 40 volume. I don't think it's the strongest bleach. It's the one below that, maybe 30. Um, keto has brought a whole, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the way that makes me feel. So anyway, um, now the big reveal. You guys are awesome. I hope it does. Um, so what was I answering? Um, I'm going all over the place. Thank you, Tanya. You need to see the eyebrow video. Oh God, I might have to send it to you too. Maybe I'll do one. Oh, you guys kill me. I know there's no judgment here, but that's like really my insecurity thing is when I have to have eyebrows on. I don't care. It's the first thing I do in the morning, even before I get out of my bed, like I get out of my bed, I go and put, because that's my big insecurity. So yes, we all have some. Um, lactose, I don't remember. Oh, my hair. So I use bleach, um, but um, I don't, I think I need to go back and have her add some more low lights in or highlights because it, it's a little darker than what I like. My natural color is like back here, um, like a dark, I have like dark brown hair, um, like a dark blonde brown hair. I, I have uh, bleach highlights and then uh, some of these other pieces that she puts up in here are uh, just like a caramel color. Um, whatever you want. So, uh, you guys are so funny. I love all of you. Yeah. When you don't eat sugar, you don't crave it. Once you get off, once you get on keto and your body detoxes from the sugar. Um, yeah. And I do not use a toner, Missy. Um, and it's definitely an ash blonde. Uh, I don't like it golden. I do use the Lange Violet line, uh, and that makes my hair a little bit, like right now it's a little bit, it doesn't look this yellow in person though. It's kind of different. Um, it's more blonde, but I do need her to add some more highlights because for some reason I got too much dark going in here. This is my natural color. So I do need to have her add some um, more low lights next time. But I don't like toners on my hair. Uh, yes, you can go go to YouTube and just type in Dr. Eric Berg Keto Celiac, and he has video. He has thousands and thousands. No matter what ailment you're having, type in Dr. Berg um, Celiac, Dr. Berg Diarrhea, Dr. Berg Keto. I mean, seriously, he's 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 legit. I love him. Yep, Marlene. Yep, 20 grams. Of, I don't need over 20 grams of carbs a day. Thank you, Deborah. Yeah, kidney stones, I can imagine. Thank you, Michelle. My big eyebrows, that's my big insecurity too. And I'm not gonna lie, my eyebrows. You have not, Dee Dee, we just got on. I'm not, I'm not crafting today. I'm actually just throwing together my, um, I'm throwing, I'm, I'm making my, my salad. I gotta get moving on it because my apples are getting brown. Uh, Debbie, no ice cream for me, but here's the thing. I've been on keto for so long. I'm pretty much fat adapted. So I do eat my ice cream. I can have my cheat day. It'll throw me out of ketosis, but then I, I, it takes me about 24 hours and I'm right back in. B-E-R-G. Thank you, Dee Dee, for the stars. Hi, Gloria. Ah, and my name is Kathy D. Domenico. This is Royal Funky Junk, and we love all things that bling and sparkle, so I'm glad to have you here. Yes, Walmart carries a keto-friendly ice cream, too. Dr. Eric Berg, Marsha, B-E-R-G. That's okay, Cheryl. Ask away. We're almost having like a Wednesday night chick chat, aren't we? Don't you love how right? Uh, thank you, Nadine. No, I don't let it go to my head. I'm pretty humbled by it because sometimes when I'm, sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of that part of me from my toxic relationship that, you know, still makes me feel sometimes a little insecure. So I don't let that go to my head. 
the Cracker Barrel. Sam, you're making me hungry. And I need some wine. I should have brought wine up here. Okay, I'm gonna get started on this cooking craft. Um, hello, Judy. Okay, hello, Mandalene. Thank you guys for sparkling. Okay, so guys, this is what I do. And I kind of did a little bit of prep work, prep work before I got up here because I didn't want to get diamond dust or anything like that in my food. So here's the thing. You get a big bowl and this is um, two rotisserie chickens that I just pulled all apart. Um, to Bell of the Barn gave you a plug. Thank you, Dee Dee. I don't know who Bell of the Barn is, but I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna, uh, Maria, I am doing microblading because I can't stand doing this anymore. I, I know I want to, it's on my to-do list. I'm definitely gonna do it because I want my eyebrows like this all the time. Uh, and you live alone, no social life? Well, you're gonna get all kinds of chatter here because I get a lot of hate mail because I chat so much. But um, Michelle, go check out Dr. Eric, Eric Berg. Can you show us your candle? Yes, that's downstairs. I will take a picture of it. Or a little video and post it, I promise, when I get off here. So anyway, I got to get moving, guys. We're gonna, my, my apples are going to get brown. So you have, this is two rotisserie chickens that I just pulled apart. Now, you guys know me. I don't like to cook. So this is my form of cooking. These are green apples. Um, they're really yummy. You can put red apples in there. We like green. Um, um, I just chopped them up into little bits. I'm dumping them all in there. That was three. Three. I'm glad you love it here, Ann. Hi, Melba. Oh, Tamara, she's a friend of the Shabby Tree Vibe. You are awesome. Um, that's my goal to hit a million followers. And then we'd really have a long, long three-hour chick chats on here, probably. Oh, thank you, Angela. Oh, Kim, let me know what you find, sister. I love the chick chats, too, right? And see how we even named that? You know, we used to be Chit Chats. Now we, we named it, like, Chick Chats. That's I We branded that here at Royal Funky Junk. All right, so you got... My hands are clean, I just washed them. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of give this a toss. So this is three Granny Smith apples with all of my chicken. So guys, this is how lazy I am, no joke. I buy the celery that's already cooked, that's already cut up. Now, I bought two containers of these. I think I'm probably gonna only end up using one. Hi Karen, how are you? Um, so I'm just gonna use one. And just to see how it looks. I don't measure anything. Oh, if you soak. Well, you know, we're going to eat this all tonight, Sandy, so it's okay. Um, so these are just cut up little things of celery. And I'm just dumping one. I think one is going to be enough. Bell of the Barn was making a snowflake craft last night. She had diamond. Oh, yes. If you're making anything with snowflakes, my goodness, you have to uh, put some diamond dust on that. All right, so that is one container of celery. I think I'm going to add in just like a half of one more. There's nothing you won't try. <laughs> right now, I know. Kim, go shopping. Let me know what you find. So I am, I did put just a little bit more celery. Now, my husband does not like onions. Thank you for the stars. You guys are awesome. No chicken for me. I eat right for my blood type. I, you know what, some people don't eat chicken. I'm a big meat eater, but that's okay. You just do you. You can probably do, you can probably do this recipe and use some other form of, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, Linda, these are rotisserie chickens that I just pulled apart. So yes, they're already cooked. Hi, Rita. Hi, Jacqueline. Your mouth is watering. So good. So my husband does not like onions or stuff like that. So I, um, I have what we named the vent room. So what is said, right? What stays in the chick chats stays in the chick chats. Um, I'm just going to grab a handful, um, and that's about all I'm going to add of the onions, just because Mike doesn't like them and they give him indigestion, blah, 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 so I don't do that. So mine is pretty simple. I don't add a lot of a lot of stuff. So now I get these two. It's by Fresh Gourmet. Honey roasted walnut pieces, okay? I add walnuts. You could get, I don't know, I guess you could put whatever you want in here. You could get dried cranberries and put them in here. Um... And I just do a whole package of that. And then, actually, I think I'm gonna add, I actually add two of these. And I think, I don't know if I put these in the, I don't know if I put these in the uh, video description. Um, but I like a lot of crunch in my salad. Um, so, just throw it in there. And you guys, it's really like personal choice, you know, what you like. 
and what you want it to taste like. So the next thing I do, Hellman's mayonnaise. You bought old music book paper from Bella. I'm going to go check. I've never even heard of Bella the Barn. Hello from Greece, Eleni. Uh, Lynn, no, I'm making this for dinner tonight. This is what we're eating for dinner tonight. And I was on a live last night and I was telling everybody what I was making. And, uh, and uh, I, somebody said, do it live. So I was like, okay, I'll come on live and do it. Um, Debbie, the recipe and the ingredients are in the video description of this video. Yeah, pecans would be good if you don't like it. Dried cranberries. Um, and of course, I can't get this thing off. Let me see here. All right, maybe that'll work. Honey roasted um, cranberries. No, they're they're not. That's that's why they're not in here. But um, the apples are not keto friendly. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. This is the first time, Sandy. I've never done any cooking up here. I've had lots of firsts. I did my hair last month. Water chestnuts. I mean almonds. Yes, there's so many things you could add in here. But this is just how I do it. Now, guys, here's the fun part. Um, and I didn't want to cut anything up here and prep it in here because, um, grapes, that's what I forgot. They're downstairs. So, oh, well, I'll add those in later. And I just, a ton of mayo. Um, I eat a lot of mayo because, and I eat a lot of Miracle Whip because that's keto friendly. All right. So I'm just pushing a bunch of this in there. And then I also use Miracle Whip. I love weird Miracle Whip. Raisins, yes, my husband does not like raisins, nor do my children, so uh, we don't do raisins. Uh, we're pretty plain Janes here. Um, and I'm going to try to squeeze some out because I didn't bring a little spoon up here. So I use more mayo than I do Miracle Whip, but, um, and then I just add it as I feel necessary. I try to stir this all around and make sure everything, oh my word. I'm getting it everywhere already. Making sure I get it all coated first. Yes, grapes are downstairs. I forgot about grapes. Taylor, I know, right? Taylor <laughs> Taylor practically lives here. That's Tonio's girlfriend. And here's me cooking up in the studio. Uh, so, yeah, Tonio won't eat this, though, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm I'm an all about crafter, you know. We do beauty, hair, makeup, cooking here at Royal Funky Junk. I'm just expanding my my I'm out of my comfort zone. You guys all know me, and I feel so comfortable on here now. Sandy, it is a lot of sale because I have a lot of people live here. I have two boys. Um, my son, they will eat you out of house and home, no flipping joke. And then you know their girlfriends are here and. So our house is a free-for-all. You can come here and eat. Y'all can come over for dinner. We'll have some croissants, some Italian bread. How cool is that? We watched, uh, when I was with my boy's father way back in the day, we watched a space launch when we were down in um, Florida a long time ago. Whip. Dumb phones, I don't know what you're doing. Just don't diamond dust the salad. Right on. I know. That's why I said I can't cut anything up here. I make it homemade too. Ooh, yes, that would be good. You and Bella the Butter, my favorite craft. Ooh, D, I'm gonna definitely gonna have to check them out. My cholesterol is fine, Doralyn. Um, I have really good cholesterol. I don't, I'm, I don't do dirty keto, so I eat a lot of avocado, a lot of avocados. Um, I don't eat a lot of bacon. You know, I kind of keep it um, healthy keto. You know, uh, avocado oil is what I cook with. I eat avocados. Thank you, Nancy. Grapes. Ooh, sliced Persian cucumbers. No. Plain Greek yogurt with, I love yogurt, but I don't eat it. Big Daddy said the neighbor asked him how many people live in your house. Yeah. He's like, how many people? Because it's always, I'm telling you, there is always people. He's like, how many people live here? Is what they asked my husband. Yeah. All right, so this looks a little dry to me. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm going to add some more mayo. I do follow the shabby tree and I do follow refabbed. Um, I watch Barb. She's usually on. She pops on my phone all day long because she goes live so much. Um, and uh, and uh, I try to watch her as much as I can. I, I try to watch the other girl refab too. Um, but I watch Studio MDAZ and Creating with Chris Hunter. Those are my... I, I, have, I have so many. At Home with Misty Fears. Um... 
But those are the top ones that I can find. All right, so I gotta knock off my spoon. All right, so now this is looking pretty good. When I get it to the right consistency, yes, I do like, I do like Brooke is her name. Yes, I do like her a lot. Um, she's, she's so cute. Um, it's just, you know what guys, when I'm up here crafting, I'm usually watching TV. Um, the shabby tree is how you found me, Deborah. Really? How is that? I don't even know if Barb knows my name. But that's awesome. Um, yeah, so, okay, so I think that looks pretty good. You guys just kind of get it to how you like it. Now, this is what I like to do. No kidding, Arlene. I love her energy, too. I love Debbie, too. So now that I'm done with that, what I do um, is I take some ground cinnamon. Thank you for the stars, Marlene. I love them in you. Brooke Riley. Yes, I do like Brooke. I know who they all are. Uh, do you watch Lizzie and Aaron? I don't know who Lizzie and Aaron is. Um, I do know who Amber Strong is. Um, you know, again, I try to watch as many as I can. I get all their, you know, notifications. I just recently discovered Brooke at Refab. Somebody asked me if, if I learned from her, and I was like, I don't even know who she is. So it's funny how, you know. So I sprinkle on a little bit like that. But I don't know. I don't know who Lizzie and Aaron is. So yeah, thanks for the referrals because I'll go and check them out. You know, that's how we all kind of get inspired. Usually when I'm looking for something to create, I'm more of like probably in line with uh, Brooke or the Shabby Tree because I like to thrifting and turning things um, that were once something into something different. So, oh, that is so awesome, Anne. It is so yummy. Um, I know I'm missing Craft on the Color Center. Oh, yes, I know. I've got to get on that. See, that's on my to-do list this week is to be a part of that. So, guys, I just run out of time. Um, all right, so that's it, guys. Slap this on some bread if you want. I don't uh, eat bread. Um, Carla, I sprinkled cinnamon on it. That's awesome, Michelle. It was cinnamon. You cut a shirt today because... That's awesome, Jess. I'm so glad you did. So there you have it. And the cinnamon just kind of, uh -oh, just a hint of it, you know? Bell of the Barns. I don't think I checked that out. Um, I sprinkled on ground cinnamon just a little bit. Um, you could put more, you could put less. Like, so this is pretty much how we like it. Um, I'll put, I'll make some toast for Big Daddy and, um, and then, you know, I'll put this in the refrigerator for about an hour because he's not ready to uh, eat right now. Um, and so then it'll get really chill. I'll probably have to add some more, more Miracle Whip and some more mayonnaise. Um, and then, gosh, you know what, guys? This is even better. This is even better the next day. Seriously. Yeah, exactly, Cheryl. I'm looking forward to it. I don't put salt and pepper um, but you can, I mean, yeah, if you, if you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to, um, for your is only, yes, I know who that is too, crafting with Nana, um, that's awesome, that's so cute, aren't you Italian, no, I am not Italian, my husband is Italian, I, my family, uh, I remember my, my grandmother, my dad's mom screaming at me in Russian when I was a little kid, so I know we're something along German, Russian, all that. I have Amish gluten free. I don't, I just don't do bread. It makes me feel like crap. I don't like feeling that really bloated, full feeling, so I just don't eat it. Um, yeah, so guys, go try it. I made Jean um, chicken salad. Yum, 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 with apples and walnuts and chicken and celery and onions. It's very good. I used two rotisserie chickens, um, and I did leave all my ingredients up in the video description. So, um, Make sure, if you guys want to know how I did it, everything is up there. Creating with Crafty with Sookie. Oh, I don't, I'm going to have to, you guys are giving me some new ones. I've never even heard of these people. They do thrift stores too, Lizzie and Erin. You could put this in a lettuce leaf, yeah, absolutely, a lettuce leaf wrap. Yes, absolutely, you could. Hi, Trixie. I don't, I'm just getting ready to go off. I do have Ezekiel bread. Um, it's actually pretty good. I've only had one piece of it. Um... I think it's raining now. I think I hear it. 
The Silver Farm. Yeah, you guys are awesome. I've never heard a lot of these crafters, so keep the names coming. I always like to find new crafters. I, and you know what? I'm all about, um, that's why I like to ask people to come over into my private group, um, the Royal Sparkle Chicks, because so you get all these people in your, you know, and you help. Sometimes I reach out to people who only have like 300 followers and I bring them into my private group, let them do a segment, and then I give them big shout outs here, you know? So I always like to give big shout outs. Hello, Penny. Penny. Um, Gloria, it's chicken salad uh, with Granny Smith apples and rotisserie chickens. And uh, today we have the Grace from the Comfy Nest with Grace. And I'm sure a lot of you know her, but she comes in and do, does special crafts for us in our group. Um, I do, I love Tammy Loves Vintage. She's actually been a guest speaker in my private group. Yep, I love her. Can we diamond dust it? No. Anyway, you guys are awesome. I'm going to go take this downstairs and take all my all my bowls and, and my stuff downstairs so um, this doesn't go bad. It's got to chill for about an hour before we eat it. And look, I even brought it up on my cute little tray uh, that I use for when I'm grilling. Oh, I'm not grilling when Big Daddy grills. Um, funky Threads, awesome. Um, we do too, Cheryl. So anyway, you guys are awesome. I'll be on tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll, we'll do something crafty. We'll definitely be playing with some glitter or diamond dust or decoupage green papers or something tomorrow. Uh, I love the crafty guys. Yes. Rooster Restore. Exactly. We're all, we all have our own little flair, you know, that's how it's, it's cool. So anyway, Marsha, my recipe is up in the video description. When I get off this video, you can head to Royal Funky Junk, go to videos, and it's all there in the video description. Or just scroll down my page and see all my other stuff. Um, so, and she had her hair done showing it. <laughs> that's awesome, Judy. Hey, that's what you know. We all come, this is real life, so we don't stop. Um, so you guys are awesome. Have a great evening. I'm going to go have a glass of vino. Oh, and there you go. Thank you, Beth, for this awesome shirt. Fits perfectly. Didn't need to cut the neck. I love the back. It's got the flowers. So thank you, Beth, for this shirt. Um, you guys are so awesome. And I will see you guys tomorrow, probably 2-ish, 3-ish Eastern, somewhere around there. Um, and we'll do something amazing. So you guys have a great night. And make sure you have follow me and you have your notifications on. Because when I get off of here, I'm going to do a post of that lamp that we diamond dusted yesterday. So you don't want to miss that. So you guys are awesome. Have a great evening and I will see you chicks tomorrow. Sparkle on.